In this video, you'll learn how to set up a survey for your website. This is a great way to get feedback from your users on what article or product to do next. You can get feedback on what people think about your site or your services. And we'll be using WP Forms, which makes it super easy to then view the results in charts and graphs. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is you need to get the WP Forms plugin. It is a premium plugin and it's from our sister site. So you can find the one that works best for you. You want to make sure that you get the one that allows for surveys and polls. So from our dashboard, we'll go to plugins, add new, and we'll need to upload the plugin that we just downloaded from the site. So I'll click upload plugin and I need to choose the file, find it here, and we'll click install now. Once you install, you'll also want to activate the plugin to get it going. Once we have installed it, let's go to WP Forms and we need to go to settings so we can add our license key. So from here, you just want to grab the license key from your account on WP Forms website. We'll paste it in there and you can verify. Great, once it's verified, now we can move on. So the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and go to add-ons area. We need to install and activate the survey and polls add-on. Here's the surveys and polls add-on. So we'll click install add-on and it should also activate for us. Now you see it's active. Now we can go and we'll go click add new so we can start this. From here, you see the WP Forms dashboard. We can name it and scrolling through, there are already several templates that are created that you can choose from. We're going to do just a simple survey form. Notice you can also do an NPS survey or an NPS enhanced survey form for your businesses. So we're going to do a simple survey form. Once we selected that template, you see it already has created a survey for us. And so now we can just make any adjustments that we need to. For instance, I'll click on the name area and over on the left, I just prefer simple. You can also drag and drop these if you want to have them in different orders. From here, you can also choose which ones you want to be required. And you see over on the left, these are required and you'll see a little asterisk on the ones that are required fields. And now let's click on the rating field and I'll show you how you can make changes if you want. From here, you can choose whether or not what type of scale system you want. If you want a one to five or two to 10, what have you. And you see that the stars change over here. We'll keep it at five. You can even go over under advanced options. If you don't like the stars, then you can change to like a thumbs up or a heart. You can even change the color scheme to something else that you want. For the icon color, you can choose your brand's icon color. We'll choose WP Beginners here, and you can choose the size of them, small, medium, or large. Go with medium. That looks pretty good. Now we can also do conditionals, meaning on this field, if they have an experience less than say four or three or whatever you choose, you can have this field show up. So I'm gonna click on how can we improve and you can change out the description here. You can make it required. So if we want to enable this, then we can show this if the experience field is less than three. So anything under three, and we're going to show this field. Otherwise, we're not going to show that field at all. So that's great for conditional logic and really digging into the details, but not showing the information if it doesn't pertain to them. So that's a really great feature. Overall, though, we're pretty happy with this survey. You can make as many changes as you want or even add more fields if you need to. And once you're done, let's go ahead and click save. And now I'll show you how to add it to your website. So you can add it in multiple different ways. You can either do it on the page, you can do it on a sidebar if you have a sidebar area, or you can put it in a footer area. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on a page. So we need to X out of the survey and we're back on our dashboard. We want to go over to pages, add new, and we'll create a survey page. And from here, we can click on the little plus icon this is for Gutenberg. If you have classic, I'll show you how you can do that. If you have the old classic editor, I'll show you how you can do that. So under the block, when I click plus, you can either search for it, like you see WP Forms here, but if you don't see it, go ahead and just start typing in WP Forms, and we have a widget that will come up. This will bring this in, and you want to make sure that you go ahead and click on the drop down to find the survey that we just created. And now that pulls that survey in so that we can kind of preview it. And that looks really good. So let's go ahead and click publish. 
Now, if you're still using the classic editor, then you can do, it's something very simple. I'm going to go to my pages, add new, and you see the classic style here. And in the classic, you now have a button up here that says add form. And this is the WP forms button. So you can click add form and you can select the one from below. Since we only have one, we'll choose that one. And you can choose to show the name or the description. We'll just leave it at that. And what it will do is it will bring in the short code for it. And both of them will do the same thing. They're bringing in the survey so that you'll have it on your site. Now you have a great looking survey on your website. So now let me show you some of the things that you can do with the results. So now let me show you how we can view the results. I'm going to go through and answer this a few times so we can see the results on this. Okay, now I filled it out a few times. So let's go back to our dashboard. And what we want to do is let's go to forms. We'll go to all forms. And from here, if you hover over this, we can see survey results. So let's click on survey results. And by default, when you add, when you create a survey form, this is turned on by default. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here is the survey, here are the survey results right now as it is. And you get a great graphical representation of where are we? And obviously you can see that the more results you get, kind of the better averages that you'll see. Since there are only four, it's a little, it seems a little skewed, but still, this is a great looking graphical experience that you can see, how are we doing? Where can we improve? That's the question there. Everybody else skipped it because they did three or higher. And then you see over here where we are in this. And then it brings in all of the additional comments. Since you can't really do a graphical representation, you can get an idea. You could also put all these into a word cloud or something and kind of get the idea from there. Now, the other beautiful thing of this is you see up in the corner, we have export and what you can do is you can export the results either in a CSV if you want to move around the data more or if you're wanting to send this off to people so that they can view it. You can export the results like this and share them, print this out in a PDF and then share them and you can change all of the results into each type of graph that is more meaningful to you. So here we can print this as a PDF. And now we can share this with our team so that they can see them as well. And that's a real simple and easy way to add a survey to your website. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.